yes, it's nice to clip coupons and yes, it's nice to try to save money on your electric bill and all of that. But if you can take the big pieces like your housing and transportation, like if you can take those, if you can live way below your means when it comes to those items, the big items. Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Monday, April 11th. And it's like 3.30 in the morning. Guess what? I went to bed without meal prepping. <laughs> I don't even remember falling asleep last night. I don't, but I did. So I'm up early this morning because if I don't meal prep, I'm, I'm just, I know I'm gonna regret it. So thankfully my husband put like all of the chicken in the refrigerator because I didn't even do that. Just went to bed. Um. So yeah, let's get this meal prep done. Otherwise my week is gonna be hectic. Kitchen, I didn't clean the kitchen last night. It's just, sometimes this stuff just happens and you just have to roll with it. So right now I'm currently preheating the oven at 385 and I think I'm just going to bake the majority of this chicken so that I can get it done and we have food to eat for the week. All right, let's do this. So first we need some dish water because like I said, kitchen did not get clean last night, but that's okay. All right, so I am going to bake like all of the drumsticks and with the chicken burgers, I'm actually gonna put these in the air fryer. So there's four chicken burgers per container. Okay, so we have the chicken. I'm gonna place it in this pan. I'll be using this seasoning it's actually pretty good but there's no salt in it it's like a salt free one so i'll be using a little bit of salt as well and then some garlic powder and also when i was in the refrigerator i noticed that i had some celery that was going bad and i usually cook celery with beef not chicken but because i don't want it to go bad i'm also going to toss in some celery and there are um there was also some carrots that were getting close to going bad so we're just gonna put those in here too um i don't really use like recipes and stuff i just cook what i have and i make it work So like this is not a fancy meal prep, but it definitely gets the job done because when you're trying to, you know, stay focused on your health and fitness goals, like sometimes you just, you can't, I mean, you can be picky if you want to, but for me, I just like to keep things as simplified as possible um, because I found that that's what helps me 
to stay on track. So I'm gonna microwave these and I'll be back. So while I'm microwaving everything, I thought that I would go ahead and start peeling these bananas um, and freezing them. veggies are now done my recommendation for your veggies I mean it's up to you but um, I would prefer to not season them on the day that I cook them because that allows you to um, season them throughout the week however you choose like for instance if you wanted like some type of like southwestern seasoning with rice you could do that or if you wanted like stir fry with like soy sauce or something you can do that or if you just want to eat them plain you can do that I don't know it's up to you guys but i like to keep it simple or sometimes if i'm just lazy i'll just eat them how they are so i'm gonna toss all of them into this bowl waiting for the other burgers to cook and the other um, and the drumsticks to cook but we're getting there these will all go in the freezer for desserts we're getting there I think I'm gonna make myself some coffee so while everything is finishing up um, I am sitting with a cup of coffee and my planner you guys I am so excited because this Saturday okay so let me tell you you guys know I'm all about living that dream life, right? Trying to create it and build it in the way that I want. Well, I wanted to host a tea party. <laughs> I wanted to host a tea party. And later this week, I'll show you guys um, the dishes that I thrifted, as well as like the dishes that I bought for this tea party. So excited about it. But I'm also hosting like an an Easter egg hunt for my nieces and nephews, which I'm really excited about that too. I'll give you all the details and the scoop on that because instead of doing um, candy, like instead of giving them candy inside of the eggs, I'm actually giving them like, like there'll be like a little slip of paper and it'll have like a dollar amount on it. So however many eggs or whatever they find, they can cash it in for whatever dollar amount is in the egg i'm so excited about it and then because you know like it's teaching them like to count and then i'm gonna have them do like a budget like what are you gonna buy with your money oh my gosh i'm so excited so um what was i saying <laughs> oh yeah so this tea party i have been like going back and forth because at first i wanted to do a tea party for the adults and then also like a little small one for the kids but i was like mm they're probably not gonna be into that because a tea party is like sandwiches, croissants, which I'm not into. Um, I am going to have some like Ezekiel bread for my sandwiches um, because I don't eat flour or sugar. So, okay, back up Felicia, slow down. So for the menu, I've been going back and forth because I want to do like a traditional tea party but it's like girl you don't eat flour and you don't eat sugar so like all of the pastries and all of the desserts and the jams and jellies like who is that for everyone else like what are you gonna eat so what i'm about to do now is sit down <clears throat> and figure out exactly what i want the menu to be and you guys saw i don't know if you saw the grocery haul that i did um that i uploaded before this one i'll link it here in the sky but um i saw marinara sauce and pasta sauce and spaghetti on sale so i was like yeah the kids are gonna have the kids menu it's going to be spaghetti and meatballs um some meat sauce or something noodles um toast salad fruit and for the adults i'm trying to figure out what i want to do and like let's just be real here like my family 
my family like they'll be down for the tea party because they know i'm always doing crazy stuff but they're gonna be like girl where is the food where is the food so we'll see what i come up with but i'll be sure to let you guys know and also um whenever i go shopping for the tea party that will be a separate grocery haul i'm interested to see what that comes up to i actually budgeted for it so i do have it in the budget um but I'm just excited to see what random food costs. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got a few more minutes. The chicken is still baking. Once the chicken's done baking, I will take my portions out, put them in a container. And I don't know if I've mentioned it yet in the video, but my husband made some salmon yesterday. So we'll have that for a protein source as well for the week. Yeah, so I'll take my chicken out and then I'll, bar I'll put barbecue sauce like on the rest of it. And the meal prep will be done. So I know sometimes, I know that like before I started this journey, this weight loss journey, in the past when I would try to lose weight, I think I really overcomplicated the food portion. Um, like I would try to download different recipes from Pinterest and other places and you know like different ingredients and I just wanted everything to be right and perfect and I wanted to make sure I had the right caloric count like I was just really I don't know I guess I think that's important right like it's important to know what you're eating how much you're eating and all of that but it's here it is it's kind of like whenever you're trying to live a frugal frugal lifestyle yes it's nice to clip coupons and yes it's nice to try to save money on your electric bill and all of that but if you can take the big pieces like your housing and transportation like if you can take those if you can live way below your means when it comes to those items the big items then everything else is just gravy right so i think that's kind of how i look at food now is if I could just simplify it, you know, I eat protein, veggies, fruit, and I allow myself one type of carbohydrate, um, usually like rice cakes, potatoes, rice, something like that once a day, um, sometimes twice a day. Oh, and I allow myself popcorn in the evenings whenever I want it. And then as far as my drinks go, I drink water, tea, coffee except for this week i got some diet ginger ale we'll see how that goes but if you can just simplify the big pieces i think that really helps you to stay on track but i'm sure you guys just heard the air fryer stop so let me go and check and see what this chicken's looking like i think i would like that one too it's done all right guys here is the baked chicken it looks so good i'm tempted to just have them put their own barbecue sauce on Seriously, like, uh, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Hold on a second. Okay, so this is the one that I will be dipping. I don't like cover my chicken with it, but I'll, I will dip the sugar-free one. Then this is theirs. Um, I think what I may do, it's so pretty. I don't wanna mess it up. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll just, if they want barbecue sauce, they can have barbecue sauce. So that's it. So this is it for this week's meal plan. Um, keep in mind that for breakfast, I will probably have like rice cakes and bananas. I put the bananas that were not like totally going bad over there. So I'll probably have rice cakes, peanut butter and banana or rice cakes, um, eggs and salsa. I always have fruit for breakfast and then I always have fruit at lunchtime as well. So for lunches, I'll probably have like one patty and some veggies. Um, for dinner, chicken, some veggies and salad. I just try to keep it as simple as possible. Also keep in mind that I do have some salmon that my husband prepared and I could have that for dinner as well or for lunch. I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. Remember, it's just about sticking to your goals, create that plan and execute and your journey doesn't have to look like everyone else's journey my journey plain jane but i'm getting it done and i'm so proud of myself all right guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye